Good afternoon, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, tomorrow I'm going to be going deeper into the scripture here in Ephesians chapter 6. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Also, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I want to get into this, friends, because a lot of the things that are going on in the world today are very serious. And we need to be looking at these things far more serious than what we generally have taken those things, especially in light of this article here. For example, genetically engineered magnetoprotein remotely controls brain and behavior. As I said to you guys not long ago, I was told by the intel community that the, well, you know, that little thing that they're putting in everybody's arms around the planet is actually being used for mind control. And this is what this article goes into about those types of technology. However, it doesn't speak about the little thing that they're trying to get in everybody's arms around the planet. But you need to be aware of this. And therefore, you also need to be aware of the scripture on how and what we are warring against, how to war against the Satan and his demonic devices, and just exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to be getting into that a little bit more. Uh, kind of going to some other uh, stories that are going on. Ex-Mossad chief signals Israel's attack has attacked Iran's nuclear assets. And it's not just the fact that they're attacking their nuclear assets. There is another, I got an uh, email from uh, uh, Lior over in Israel, and he shared with me uh, another couple of things that have happened over in Iran. Of course, one of those things was the ejection seat of an F-5 uh, malfunctioned and two of Iran's pilots ejected inside an airplane hangar that actually threw them into the ceiling, killing both of them instantly. Uh, there's been other issues that have happened, also a ship catching fire, an Iranian ship catching fire. A lot of these things, I believe, are sabotaged by Israel as they war back and forth using their uh, advanced abilities against the, uh, how would you call it, that would be more of a cyber type of attack for example, to where they could remotely uh, discharge that pilot seat possibly. I mean, it could have been a malfunction. Let's face it, could be. But then again, when you got the ex-Mossad chief uh, signaling Israel's attack on Iran's nuclear assets, uh, and we know, we've uh, talked about Intel with Intel people before, about the situation like with China and how that most of the chips that are in all of our military assets are made in China. How much control would China have then? Just rewriting the software. I also have been made aware how that the the enemy of our our enemies here, like China, like Russia, they could literally take as we're firing missiles over at them. They can rewrite it. China can rewrite the program while a nuclear missile would be in flight towards them and cause that missile to turn around and go back upon us. On America. Imagine that. China has that type of technology. They can reverse our missiles in mid-flight and turn them around back on us. And then the nuclear attack would be us shooting ourselves in the foot, so to speak. That's the type of technology that's going on out there, friends. It's very troubling, tr troubling very alarming. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> also I was made aware that Russia was preparing to give Iran advanced satellite system uh, that report came out. So on Bangkok Post, on uh, I think the Washington Post also reported this. But Putin is denying it. But it is says set to deliver an advanced satellite system to Iran that will vastly improve its spying capabilities, according to a U.S. media report. Moscow is preparing to give Iran the Kanopsov V satellite with a high-resolution camera, as the Washington Post reported on Thursday. Now. In all fairness to Putin, he says, report Russia to sell Iran advanced spy satellite is garbage. Israeli officials expressed concern following a report of the sale of the Washington Post. Amid fears, the move will dramatically enhance Iran's ability to track bases and targets in Israel. 
Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday denied a U.S. media report that Moscow is set to deliver an advanced satellite system to Iran that will vastly improve its spying capabilities. Now, I would disagree with Putin on this because we know that Russia and Iran and China all are playing part of this one world global government. And as I've been told that the they all have their role to play, including Iran. In Iran, their role is going to be attack Israel to bring down Israel as much as possible in order to make it appear that biblical prophecy is being fulfilled, that Israel has been attacked by the king of the north uh, or whatever prophecy you want to try to imagine that to be in order when they bring about the one world government that Israel will bring, uh, usher in its own Messiah figure. And the world will then say that now Israel is the world global power and that their Messiah has come. So oddly enough, those things are going to happen. So therefore, I can see where Russia has given this technology to uh, Iran. Maybe they didn't mean for it to go public or maybe they did mean for it to go public. That's a good question. Not many people know the answer to that question, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Another thing going on as well, NASA plans two missions to Venus. Uh, wow, interesting, right? NASA approves asteroid hunting space telescope to monitor near-Earth objects. That's the one that I really wanted to uh, discuss with you here is the NASA approving the uh, asteroid hunting space telescope. Why all of a sudden that we have to be so concerned about asteroids? I thought, well, that's all fake news, Steve. Maybe there's nothing to it, right? Anyway, Propulsion Laboratory announced Friday that agency has approved a new infrared space telescope in the effort to help advance planetary defense efforts. The Near-Earth Object Sur uh, Surveyor Space Telescope, NEO Surveyor, will move to the next phase of mission development at JPL after a successful review that moved the mission forward into preliminary design. The NASA chief, Bill Nelson, optimistic about space exploration as private sector government combined efforts. The NEO survivor was proposed to aid NASA's ability to both discover and characterize the near-Earth objects like the potentially hazardous asteroid 2021 KT-1. Well, I can tell you right now, the U.S. government has already taken out three asteroids, either destroyed or knocked off course that were potential hazardous impact asteroids for the Earth. Uh, so don't fear what you don't know that we actually have in our, in, in our space arsenal. Well, we do have. And so therefore, we have been able to successfully knock three out of their orbit or destroy them, as I got told just recently there. So I can only imagine what else may be coming. But still, we still have one coming, though, uh, supposedly next year sometime that is not quite big enough for them to hit. But they are actively trying to destroy it. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. Don't forget, tomorrow we're going to be looking deeper into wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against those principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places because we are dealing with some very demonic entities. I want to look at those things, share with you also, as Jesus says, as it was in Matthew 24, as it was in the days of, uh, or, or as it was, will be when the coming of the Son of Man, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and given and given in marriage. We're going to kind of break all this down, examine some of these things, see where we are at biblically, and what are the prophecies that are really being fulfilled. And remember, friends, don't believe every spirit that comes along. And maybe I might say one thing as well. I do not endorse ministries. All right. I know there's a lot of things going on right now. I'm going to be discussing these things with you in the not so distant future there. But I do not endorse other ministries. I may have friends in other ministries and love them, appreciate them, things like that. But please keep that in mind. You need to seek out your own salvation with trembling and fear and not just believe every wind of doctrine that comes along. Let's get down to sound gospel right here on Israeli News Live. I'm Stephen Benoon. Good evening. 
tomorrow. I'll be working most of the day here, trying to put some things out there that will help you and that I think that will benefit you in your spiritual life as well. God bless you.